beneficial bugs you should never kill in your garden. Roll out the welcome mat for friendly insects that will get on your garden's good side. While some insects like aphids and grasshoppers can wreak havoc on gardens, not all insects have a destructive bent. In fact, many of these good bugs help eliminate their garden-eating cousins by snacking on them. Insects can also help your garden grow by pollinating flowers. Here are 16 beneficial bugs that will be a pleasure to have around your garden, and suggestions for encouraging them to pay you a visit. Number 1. Honeybees. Honeybees are a very valuable part of the ecosystem. They need to collect nectar and pollen to survive, and as they do this, they pollinate flowers and crops. A honeybee will visit anywhere from 50 to 100 flowers during a single collection trip. In fact, they're one of the most important pollinators. They are also the only insect to make food eaten by humans. However, this doesn't mean that you need to let them live in or around your house. A local beekeeper will be happy to adopt your unwanted bees. Number 2. Ladybugs. Ladybugs, also called lady beetles, can be a nuisance if they move into your house, but as long as they stay outdoors, these insects are friends, not foes. They eat garden pests like aphids and mites. A single adult ladybug can eat more than 50 aphids in a single day, and some may consume as many as 5,000 aphids in their lifetime. Ladybugs don't just eat aphids, but also eat fruit flies, thrips, mites, and other plant-damaging insects, so they're good to have around. Legend has it that during the Middle Ages, swarms of aphids were destroying European crops. The farmers prayed to the Virgin Mary, and help came in the form of aphid-devouring ladybugs. The grateful farmers began referring to the beetles as Our Lady's Beetles. Some breeds of ladybugs, Mexican bean beetle and the squash beetle, feed on plant leaves, so they may actually cause some harm to garden plants. Number 3. Harmless Spiders while some types of spiders like black widows and brown recluses are dangerous, most household spiders are harmless. Despite their creepy appearance, common spiders like wolf spiders and common house spiders are your allies when it comes to pest control. They feed on small insects that you don't want in your house, like ants and beetles, and help to keep insect populations under control. Number 4. Praying Mantises Praying mantises are a very helpful pest for gardeners. A single mantis can eat a lot of insects, which helps to control the population of insects that could damage your plants. These insects are so useful that some people will even purchase praying mantises to release in their gardens. Number 5. Earwigs. Earwigs look like dangerous pests thanks to their menacing pincers, but they're actually good to have around. Their pincers are used for defense. As long as you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. They feed on dead insects and decomposing plant matter, and that's good for the health of your garden. Plus, they usually cause minimal damage to healthy garden plants. Number 6. Stink bugs. Stink bugs are a nuisance that you may encounter in the fall. These pests try to enter homes to find a warm place to spend the winter. Stink bugs release an unpleasant odor as a defense mechanism, so if you try to squish it or spray it with bug spray, you'll stink up your house. It's best to focus on exclusion methods to keep these stinky bugs outdoors where they belong. While these bugs are good to have outdoors, you probably don't want most of them to invade your home. If these beneficial insects move into your home, call Breda Pest Management to evict them. Number 7. Green Lacewings. Green Lacewings are delicate insects with a wingspan of 6 mm to over 65 mm. They are sometimes called stink flies because of their ability to release a foul smell when touched. They have also earned the name aphid lions because of their larvae's appetite for aphids, approximately 200 a week. Lace wings also consume spider mites, especially red mites, thrips, leaf hoppers, mealybugs, white flies, and small caterpillars. All in all, lace wings can be a valuable asset to your garden. There are even companies that sell lace wing eggs as a natural pest control solution. Search theguardianschoice.com. We are always ready to help you with the right information. Number 8. Butterflies. The mere presence of butterflies adds a heavenly vibe to any garden, but these graceful insects also help beautify plants by pollinating them. 
One of the best ways to attract a few of these magnificent creatures is by planting liatris, spiky flowers that some butterflies find very appealing. Number 9. Minute Pirate Bugs For serious garden infestations, who should you call? The Minute Pirate Bug. Other predatory insects take out bad bugs only up to the point of satiety, but Minute Pirate Bugs can continue to kill even when they're full. Growing alfalfa is an excellent way to recruit minute pirate bugs to guard your plants. Number 10. Hoverflies. Hoverflies may look like bees, but they're actually more like humans in that they eat both meat and plants. That means they offer up a one-two punch of pollination and pest annihilation. Top orchid flowers will draw these big-time beneficial bugs to your garden. Number 11. Dragonflies. No insect detrimental to your garden will be safe from the mighty dragonfly, with its very broad taste in insects. Adding a pond with plant vegetation to your garden is the best way to get them to swoop down. Don't worry about mosquitoes setting up shop. Dragonflies devour them too. Number 12. Moths. Moths are yet another wing creature that plays a big role in pollinating plants. They also serve as food for your other beneficial bugs. Plant some nettle plants to attract them, and before long they'll join the good guy army of butterflies, hoverflies, and dragonflies in your garden. Number 13. Aphid midges. Never fear aphid midges are here if your garden has been invaded by aphids. Larvae from the female alpha midges poison the aphids and feed on them for a few days. If the midges don't appear on their own when you face an aphid infestation you can purchase them to get rid of the pests. Number 14. Ground Beetles Dot Spotting a ground beetle in the garden is a happy discovery. The nocturnal critter eats sants, aphids, caterpillars, maggots, and slugs, plus a few species even eat the seeds of invasive weeds. The next time you discover a beetle just let it be. Number 15. Predatory Wasps You may not want to encounter a wasp and its stinger, but predatory wasps in the garden are actually a good thing. These feisty stingers not only pollinate flowers, but they attack the crawlers that infest your garden. Braconid wasps are useful for controlling caterpillars, while tip hide and scoli eat wasps prey on Japanese beetles and June bugs. Number 16. Mealybug Destroyer. Mealybugs are those annoying armored beetles that you'll often find in your garden or greenhouse. They're a problem for gardeners because they feed on plant juices, and carry and spread plant disease. Enter the mealybug predator or Cryptolemus montrusieri. Specifically brought from Australia for pest control, the mealybug destroyer is harmless to plants and humans, but is a larva and adult, eats aphids and other soft-shelled pest insects, and of course, mealybugs. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update from the Guardian's Choice Official.